Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. Today I am going to share my experience of developing a Piano Major Scales app using React Native. Uh, if you are not familiar with Piano Major Scales, then uh, I would just like to tell you in brief that Piano Major Scales are fundamentals of learning piano. So basically this app will help uh, users to learn the fundamentals of piano and I have developed this app using react native and I did this app just for fun and as a proof of concept so I didn't have much time to take it to the take this app to the next level so uh, I would just like to share this with you how I did this app and what was my experience and uh, the coding of this app is very uh, easy or you can say it is not tough and the major uh, uh, the only thing that that was uh, difficult for me was uh, the logic for the UI of piano so uh, uh, I uh, let's go through the uh, my experience how I did this app so first I would like to give you a little brief about piano major skills so piano major skill is basically there are 12 major skills uh, like C major D major E major F major and uh, in every major skill there are eight notes so like C major has eight notes D major has eight notes and with every note there is a uh, specific fingering associated so the learner of piano should know with which note which fingering is associate associated so uh, this app basically does that it uh, allows user to practice the uh, the association of fingering with the notes now let's check the code logic so there are uh, basically two screens of this app uh, there is a major scale screen and there is note screen so the major scale, uh, scale screen looks like this it looks like this this is the major scale screen so there is C major D major E major so you can see the code uh, that I have created a JSON data of, uh, first I have created an array of all the major scales and then there is a JSON data with uh, the scale and correspond corresponding notes so this, this is C scale and all the corresponding notes to C scale and uh, similarly there are other notes like D scale and D uh, scale and there is corresponding notes to this scale and all, uh, all the other data are similar to this so I'm using this uh, scales JSON data and when user taps on any uh, any of the tab then uh, he is redirected to the note screen and the notes the corresponding notes to the scale is uh, also passed as a parameter to the note screen so that's that's uh, what going on in the uh, major scale screen now let's check the code of the note screen so note screen also has a JSON data and this is basically mapping of uh, mapping of uh, major notes and uh, its respective sorry uh, mapping of major scales its notes and its uh, fingering so this is the map that I have created using JSON data and as I told it is uh, major scales this is notes this is the key for notes this is notes and this is the fingering so uh, this using this map I am uh, I have created the association and relationship between uh, all of them and uh, let's see uh, and this is the UI uh, this is the UI that is uh, really uh, I, I would suggest you to go and have a look because this uh, code has a bit of illusion in it and 
you have you you should go for uh, it and check it how it has been done i will show you the working of this app so suppose i go to c major scale so i go to the notes screen this is notes notes for c and you can see this is the piano keys so this piano key if you uh, see that this is completely done using the react native ui and uh, no image has been used and uh, if i click if i tap the c notes then i get the fingering one if i tap d notes i get fingering two and if i tap any other button for which uh, there is no notes associated then there is no change in the fingering similarly if i go to d major and i tap this db note then i get the seven fingering and you can see that all this uh, association is uh, done in this mapping c for one this db this db is seven so this map using this map the association is done and also i have uh, uh, added the sound effect but the sound part is not complete i have just added uh, i just added the concept of sound effect so here i have commented it how sound can be implemented because i did did not have the time and i did not have the sound files uh, so basically I didn't have the uh, time so I didn't uh, go for looking for uh, sound files so if, if you get sound files you can also add sound effect to these keys and you can add different types of sound because uh, there, there are two types of uh, taps like short tapping and uh, long long press so with the different uh, uh, tappings type of tappings you can use different sound effects and it will uh, really give a realistic uh, piano effect uh, to this app and uh, you can also use some images uh, for these keys uh, to make it look 3d but uh, you, it's up to you how uh, you uh, to how far you can take it to the next level but this is basically the concept and uh, this is basically the code how I uh, did uh, implemented this concept and the the piano buttons UI and you can see the CSS that that has been used so basically I uh, wanted to show the UI piano button UI that has been done without any image and just a react native uh, uh, react native code so guys I hope you would have enjoyed enjoyed this uh, tutorial and if you like this uh, uh, my video then make sure you uh, like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, also do subscribe to the to our channel for more interesting videos like this more informative videos like this uh, you can see the code of this uh, piano app on our website and you can also go for the you can also go for and subscribe to the newsletter and we will keep you updated with uh, everything happening on react native made easy uh, and thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day